Hello, this is Sergey from ProperSoft. You may have a bunch of general journal entries as CSV or Excel file created quickly in Excel or exported from your production system, but QuickBooks will not import it. In this video, I will show you how to create a journal entry or a multiple journal entries IIF file in Excel and Notepad without any other software. IIF files are great help when you need to import many transactions without manually typing in, in QuickBooks. There is also easier and faster way to create an IIF file from your CSV file using a proper soft tool called General Journal Entries and it will be shown in comparison to manual, manual approach. If you like this video, please subscribe to see more tutorials like this and please like the video. All documents shown in this video are available to download using the link in the description. So let's take a look at our file that, uh, that has two general journal entries and they are separated by entry number. They are for the same date but could be for different date. Uh, we have account name, we have some account, some sub accounts and we have uh, regular debit and credit lines so this entry has one credit line one debit line and another entry has two debit lines two credit lines and we have some memo we have some name uh, for one of lines and we have optional class uh, and subclass available as well so now how we can convert this to IAF file. And so the, this file that you can download and try yourself has uh, IAF template. What is IAF template is uh, Excel file formatted as IAF file should be. So it has a header and has mm, this different rows and uh, so the header first three lines you don't you don't change, but uh, each transaction or each uh, general journal entry has first line as TRNS, and then you have one or more split lines, and then you have to have end uh, TRNS line. So for this file as here, the final result would be would look like this so for as you see i filled um the first entry trns trns line and then split line and then end of trns and then for the second entry uh, i have first line always trns and then i have three split lines and again and trns line so you can you 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 can fill it uh, you know as fast as you work in Excel. You can copy this this column TNS type. Usually it should be general journal. You can copy date. It should be months day year format. And then uh, account. So you how you would start working on this? Well, first you would create a. a as many lines as you need. So in this case, you would have six lines. So your IF result would have six lines. Then you will need to insert those NTRNS lines for at the end of each entry. Now you need to copy uh, entry number. So you you copy this and then you you go you go on template and then you paste and then you start um, multiplying same you do for second one and then um, same you do for dates for account number uh, account names classes names and the the most difficult one would be amount column so if you have uh, debit and credit uh, in IAF it must be just amount. So how to get those minuses and pluses uh, in right place? 
what would you do is create an amount column in your template and then would you, would enter formula as simple as this which is debit minus credit and then you press enter and then you would um, multiply this line this column multiply for all lines and so you you see, you see uh, credit lines should be minus and debit lines should be plus and that's it then you can start copying this um, this column as well to IF result so now now the final step what would you do to get this into IF file so there are different approaches to convert and the easiest one would be using text editor or notepad which is included in all windows uh, starting from windows 7 windows 10 windows 11 so what would you do is just start notepad if you don't know where notepad just open your start menu and start typing notepad and that's where you would see notepad so when you open notepad uh, file new then you would switch back to excel select this uh, final result click uh, copy and then or com uh, control c then you switch to notepad and press control v and now what you do is just click save file save and then you would say um, entries IIF and then you save that's it so now let's go to QuickBooks this is QuickBooks 2019 and uh, you it's same in 2020 2021 um, or any previous quickbooks as far as iif files are imported so in quickbooks 2019 and later 2020 2021 the iif import was changed so to import iif file you go to file utilities import IAF file and now if you have QuickBooks 2018 or earlier it would just go to uh, import screen but in 2019 they there's two option import IAF or import IAF for me I fixed it later so those are two different ways to import this way is for uh, it's called legacy way how QuickBooks 2018 and earlier would import IF files so if you get used to importing IF files uh, regular way this is the way to keep importing them this new way of importing IF files it's a little different first it's much slower and the second is if you have any mistakes let's say vendor name is incorrect if or account name is incorrect then all those entries will be rejected and uh, for your IIF file will be created new IIF file with timestamp added and this IIF file will have all error messages for what went wrong so if you know that everything is correct in your in your general journal entry file and you will just go ahead if you're not sure or you're doing it first time I would suggest to go first with this one to see any errors and that you would encounter let's say account names are incorrect but before that so let's say we go import IF for me uh, so either way 
old way or new way, do backup before you do anything with IF file. So the backup, local backup, uh, it will take just a couple seconds and you just say, tell us where to save and you would say, okay, do it in documents, okay, and remind me, okay, use this location, save it now, save. and it's done so now we go to file utilities import IIF ok import for me import now we're ready to import IIF file so we save it in downloads folder this is our entries and our data were imported and what we do now is we go to company make general journal entries and that's where we see our entries imported and so this is manual way that we don't need any tools and you you could work as fast as you work in excel and you have as much freedom as you have like you could copy those lines, you can check, you can do everything you want. And but there is a easier way. So if you have this file and you don't want to do formulas, you don't want to do formatting, copy pasting, you would just use a uh, proper soft general journal entries app. And what it does, it loads your file, it recognizes all those columns automatically and then you just say IIF then click convert and so, uh, click convert and then you click save and that's it your IIF file is created now so um, it's up to you in some cases you would like to have manual work and but if you have like a uh, export from your production system and it's already predefined everything is um, resolved everything is ready just convert data I would suggest to use general journal entries tool to quickly reformat your CSV file to IAF file thank you for watching